Hi, Lucy. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah, how are you? How is everyone doing? Uh, we are fine. We are doing well. And uh, very sunny, hot, extremely hot weather in here. What about in the UK, Oxford? In the UK, this week it's been a lot warmer, actually. The sun's finally yeah. coming out and um, we're just about allowed to go outside a little bit more. Um, okay. So we're allowed to go outside for more than one walk per day, which means we can go and enjoy the sun a bit. So that's been really yeah. lovely. Excellent, excellent. I hope uh, everything gets much better and uh, we can enjoy our lives. We can back to normal life because everybody really uh, started to struggle being at home. That's not easy mm-hmm. to uh, handle it. Okay, listen, let's talk uh, about uh, university. Uh, could you uh, please tell us about uh, Oxford Brooks University? When was established? and uh, where is location, students, uh, undergraduate, postgraduate. Could you uh, please uh, give us details about this? Yeah, sure. So um, so Oxford Brookes University is in Oxford, as the name would suggest. Yes. Um, so there are two universities in Oxford. Um, one of them is Oxford University. Um, that's a university that is um, very, very old and quite well mm-hmm. known, um, I think, across the yeah. world. Um, Oxford Brooks is known for a different reason. So we're a modern university. Uh, we actually used to be a school of arts in mm-hmm. the 1860s. Mm-hmm. So we're quite old as an institution, but we're quite young as a university. So we're less than 50 years old as a university itself, as university. Um, with a number one modern university in the UK. So that Excellent. means less than 50 years old. So we're, we're quite different, um, but we're in the same city. Um, we, we're we moderate sized university, so there's about 18,000 students studying with us, and that's across um, three different campuses. Mm-hmm. Um, and about 17% of all of our students are international, so they come from around 140 different countries, so quite a wide mix of different nationalities, excellent. including plenty of Turkish students. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I know uh, plenty of Turkish students prefer to, uh, prefer to go there. And we actually had a live chat. Uh, we invite them and two of your old students. One was the uh, undergraduate and then he continued with the postgraduate. Maybe you know uh, Korkut Mirzai. Mm-hmm. Then after we talk uh, with the Volkan, who was very happy with the university and the op- uh, opportunities he get from the university. What about the uh, undergraduate, postgraduate programs and the placement option? Do you have placement uh, option for undergraduate programs? Yeah, we do. So we um, we offer all levels of programs. So for undergraduate, we have um, a lot of our programs have placement opportunities. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the real um, benefits of studying at Oxford Brooks because it's a modern university. We yeah. really put emphasis on learning through doing. So that mm-hmm. means that we want to encourage students as much as possible to take a work placement or to um, engage with um, a work placement module where there's mm-hmm. not a available. So for lots of our programs, such as our business courses, engineering, computing, um, lots of those programs will give you the option to take an extra year and you mm-hmm. can work for it in a particular company um also engineering we've got connections with formula one for example um Mm -hmm. other courses um such as our humanities courses um, you might have the opportunity to take one module so that's across one semester um Mm -hmm. and then you can get some work experience that way so it depends on the course but Mm -hmm. all of our courses integrate some kind of career opportunity um so that we can help you develop career skills Excellent. Uh, could you give us a little bit more detail about the uh, uh, placement uh, options? How many weeks do they need to work? Do they earn any money? And does it count as a lessons uh, f- f- by university? Yeah, so um, so normally if you're taking a work placement module, so that's just mm-hmm. the one semester option. Um, so normally you would take about eight modules per year for a course. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So that would count as one of your modules um, so you earn credits for it, but that come that what that goes towards your final qualification. Um, oh, and see. usually some kind of work that you need to do alongside that placement. So reports um, to keep up with how the placement is going. Um, the one semester placements are usually unpaid, um, but for lots of our one year placements, um, they are paid. So, for example, a lot of our business students would expect to earn a salary of between twenty and twenty five thousand pounds. For that year right. which is uh, very decent uh, that would be an okay starter salary actually yeah, for a graduate. Absolutely, yeah. um, 
so it's a good chance to kind of make back some of those fees that you've paid um, in that year, as well as obviously getting that on your CV as a year having worked properly for an employer in the UK. Absolutely. It is wonderful. Uh, it will be wonderful to have a placement option for the students because they, their CV will be full and they will have some work uh, experience, as you say. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You know, Oxford Brooks has got accreditation. Could you give us details a little bit about uh, which programs do you have accreditation and uh, what is the accreditation? Yeah, sure. So um, so we've got a lot of accreditations, actually. So I think I probably mm -hmm. won't be able to go through every single one. Um, but just to mention a few of them. So a lot yes. of our business school courses um, have accreditations in management. So these would include CIPD, um, mm -hmm. AMBA for our global, M global MBA, um, EPAS, um, our marketing qualification is CIM. Um, and also ACCA is another qualification and it's another accreditation that we have. Um, now the ACCA one, that's actually mm -hmm. an exclusive link that we have with ACCA. That's the accountancy qualification. Mm -hmm. um, so we offer a partnership with ACCA where students can study at any, any um, recognized provider that's offering mm -hmm. ACCA programs and they can opt in to, to also gain an Oxford Brooks degree so a bachelor degree in applied accounting at the same time. So there's additional work they need to complete alongside yeah. that. They get the, the qualification at the end. So that's only yeah. available with Oxford Brooks and ACCA. Um, some of the other accreditations we have um, are in our built environment courses. So, so mm -hmm. our Chartered Institute, um, the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors, um, CIOB, for example. And then architecture is another big one. So mm -hmm. we have REBA and ARB accredited programs parts one and two um, and in, if any of you are interested in architecture you maybe know a little bit about the process yeah. you need to complete three parts um, yes. for architecture to work in the UK um, and Oxford Brooks offers two of those parts and we can also help you to take the professional parts if you come to us for part two and you're mm -hmm. missing part one you can also take that alongside to get that REBA accreditation um, so we can help you with that process. Excellent. This is very important, uh, having a accreditation from different boards uh, for their recognized degree. Okay, what about the entry requirement? Uh, do you have your, uh, do you accept Turkish students, Turkish high school diploma for, un, uh, for foundation and the uh, undergraduate degree and the postgraduate degree? Sure, yeah, so, um, so we do accept, for undergraduate, we will accept um, the Lycée Diplomasi, um, sorry yep. for my pronunciation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> perfect, perfect, it's, perfect. Um, so, so this is, uh, yeah, the high school qualification and we'll accept that yeah. from around 70% upwards for our undergraduate programme. Mm -hmm. So it tends mm -hmm. um, to range between 70 and 80 for most of our mm -hmm. courses. So the upper end will be for things like architecture and then the lower end for a lot of our other course, standard courses like biomedical mm -hmm. sciences um, and other courses like that. Um, for if you have a slightly lower qualification, so if you get 60% or even 50%, we do mm -hmm. have two foundation programs that we can offer as well. Um, so one of them is a one year foundation program for a range of different subjects. And then the mm -hmm. other course, we have a few subject specific integrated courses. So foundations that will lead you onto a specific um, pathway um, onto humanities, onto business, computing, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, for postgraduate, we will accept your um, bachelor degree from Turkish University. Um, mm -hmm. So normally for a lot of our master's degrees, we look for a 2-2, which is the UK two equivalent two. to. Mm -hmm. So for a GPA, that's actually 2.4 GPA. So that's that's a second class honours, um, mm -hmm. which is how we say in the UK. So 2.4 and then for a upper um, upper second degree mm -hmm. in Turkish qualification that will be around 2.6 GPA mm -hmm. upward um, mm -hmm. so we can accept both of those we also have a pre-masters course so again mm -hmm. if anyone falls a little bit short of the GPA um, but they want to take a quick full course 12 weeks mm -hmm. or 24 weeks um, mm -hmm. they can take a pre-masters that will be a stepping stone onto that master's yeah. course Excellent. Uh, let me give some Turkish uh, explanation to students. Sevgili arkadaşlar, uh, Oxford Brooks Üniversitesi'nde sizlerin de anladığı gibi %60, %70 ve üstü olursa lisanslara 
%70'in altında olursa foundation'a. E, ama e, şey için dikkatinizi çekmek istiyorum. E, master programları için. Eğer not ortalamanız üniversitenin istediği not ortalamasına sahip değilse dolayısıyla bunlar da pre-master programlarına katılabiliyorsunuz. Bunlar bir yıllık program değil. 12 haftalığı da var. 24 haftalığı da var. Eğer çok az bir not farkınız varsa 12 haftalığı katılırsanız yani mezun olduktan sonra direkt hiç ara vermeden e, pre-master peşinden master yapma şansına sahip olabilirsiniz. Okay Lucy, why international student choose Oxford Brookes University? Why? Mm. Um, quite a lot of different reasons really. Um, so it depends, everyone has a different reason for choosing university. Some people are more focused on the location, um, some are focused on the university Um, courses um, some are focused on the rankings um, we have all of those <laughs> all yeah. of those types of students and all of the explanations so the first one would be location um, yeah. so Oxford as a city um, is obviously a very well renowned as a cultural a beautiful city um, mm -hmm. so full of history um, beautiful architecture the very famous university um, it's just a very very interesting place to study um, we have connections with Oxford University So even mm -hmm. as an Oxford Brooks student, you can use the famous Bodleian Library. So that's a library which has access to every book published. Um, yes. You can also join the Oxford Union. So that is a, an mm -hmm. Oxford University debating society. And they get mm -hmm. lots of guest speakers who are very well recognized. So top politicians, um, CEOs of companies. So um, very, very high, um, high ranked professionals. Um, so they're, they're two connections we have with Oxford University. Um, we're also only one hour away from London. So it's very easy to get to London yeah. uh, by bus, by train. Um, so it's, it means that you can go and visit just for the day or for the evening if you want to. You can come back in the middle of the night um, at any time. So very, very easy to get around. Um, and you can get to lots of other great places around Oxford as well. The Cotswolds. Um, lots of beautiful places to go walking and see the countryside um, and there's loads of modern things like bars and cafes to go out in the evenings as well so it's a very kind of international vibrant city um, in terms of the course the kind of university reputation as I already mentioned um, we're the number one modern university and um, we're actually top 20 in the UK for a number of different subject areas as well um, so our subject specific rankings are Um, one of the reasons why students would choose us for particular courses so particularly in areas such as hospitality um, mm -hmm. so we're ninth best in the world for hospitality um, also architecture engineering we have a fantastic reputation in those areas um, so a lot of our students go based on that subject specific ranking um, and our connection to industry so I mentioned Formula One earlier so yeah, you did, yeah. we have a really good connection with the Formula One industry Um, we have graduates from Oxford Brooks in every Formula One team in the country. Um, oh, really? Students can take placements in Formula One. So it's a really exciting, you know, if you're interested in Formula One, you want to be looking at somewhere like Oxford Brooks um, because they can give you that industry experience. Um, so, yeah, lo lots of different reasons, really. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, this is very good for the Formula One uh, crazy students if they want to study engineering any area for uh, for involving in the uh, formula one then they will have huge chance to uh, be part of the formula one if they study at uh, oxford Brooks. excellent uh, what about the undergraduate and postgraduate fees could you a little bit tell us yeah so um our fees for undergraduate they range between um about fourteen thousand and fifteen thousand on average um mm -hmm. that's pounds so that's for 2020 Um, mm -hmm. The fees may be changing a little bit as we go through the years, um, but it's usually only very small changes. Um, yeah. For postgraduate, um, it's slightly higher, just between um, 14 and 16,000, um, depending on the course. Um, mm -hmm. It's worth noting that um, our UK students actually pay 9,250 pounds yes. for um, sort of so 9,250, yeah for an undergraduate course. Um, mm -hmm. So the difference between an undergraduate course for UK students and for international is actually very, very small. Very A lot small. of other universities in the UK, you'll notice that their fees are 17, 18, 20,000, even as high as 30,000 for some of yeah. their fees. Um, and the same for postgraduates. So um, we try to deliberately keep our fees as low as we can so that we can allow the maximum number of students to be able to benefit from the programme. 
Very good. What about the scholarship? Do you have any uh, special scholarship for Turkish students or do you have general uh, scholarship? Yeah, so we were actually running an international scholarship this year. Um, mm -hmm. So the scholarship that we were running was £2,000 for international students. Um, mm -hmm. That deadline has actually now passed. So the deadline was the 15th of April. Um, so yeah. perhaps some of you who are listening already benefited from that um, scholarship already, if you got your decision in quickly. Um, yeah. so we're hoping to be able to run something similar for next year. Um, we'll confirm the details a little bit later on um, towards the end of the summer about other scholarships that we might have available. Um, but that's something that we're discussing at the moment. And particularly in light of the current situation, we're looking obviously at all options that we have. Um, but that's what we have on the table at the moment. Excellent. What about the accommodation? Do you offer uh, accommodation uh, first year international students or uh, do they have to go other private ones? Yeah, so all um, all students starting their first year, so even if that's undergraduate or if it's postgraduate, um, they're guaranteed a place in one of our halls of residence. Um, just as long as you get an offer from us and you apply to the accommodation, before our deadline. So usually the deadline mm -hmm. to apply for accommodation is like July or something quite late. Um, yeah. So there's plenty of time to do that if you get an offer in time. Um, and yeah, we've got a good number of um, different options. They're located all around the city of Oxford. So we are a campus university, but Oxford's a very small city. It's very easy to walk or cycle or get a bus around the city. Um, mm -hmm. So some of our accommodation is about five or 10 minute walk. Some of it's um, a little bit further, maybe a 40 minute walk, but it's all mm -hmm. connected by buses. So if it's a bit further to walk, you'll probably mm -hmm. be able to get a bus or cycle in about 10, 20 minutes. Um, okay. So it's very, very easy to, to navigate around the city. And yeah. you kind of want to make a choice, really, whether you would rather be very, very close to the main campus or mm -hmm. if you want to be closer maybe to the city centre um, so that you can have more social activities on your doorstep and then walk yeah. a little bit further to get to university and um, we're only about 30 minutes walk from the city center or a 10 minute bus ride so we're really not that far away either um as i said everything's quite yeah. small close together um in the city um even though there's lots going on lots to do so um, yeah so students are guaranteed that accommodation um yeah. they most of our halls of residence are self-catered so you would be sharing a flat um with other students you have your own bedroom um, yeah. Lots of them have your own bathroom, mm -hmm. a few of them you don't, um, and then you share a kitchen, um, so the, the kind of kitchen and lounge facilities, so that's your social area really, where you can meet new students, make friends, have people around, um, cook together. Yeah. If you want to. um, I'm sure plenty of students, if you're with British students, they would love to have um, Turkish students Turkish. being able to, <laughs> them to <laughs> teach them some Turkish food dishes. Um, I'm sure they would very much welcome that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how most of them work. Um, yeah. And you can also get your free Brooks bus pass. Um, so where, as long as you're living in halls of residence and you've got your student card, you get access to our Oxford Brooks buses for free. So you can oh. ride many of those without paying. Excellent, excellent. Actually, Almost, not almost, all of my students, whoever I talk in here, they always say first year is the best uh, option to get in the university because you get know the people, you get good connection with your classmates and you get very good social activities with, with your roommates or mm. uh, people who is sharing the facilities with you. This is the uh, very good options. What about the price? Yeah, so um, it really varies depending on where um, where the accommodation is. Of course. And so we do from have different from. lengths. Yeah, so we have different lengths of contracts. So um, lots of our undergraduate is about 38 week contract. Mm -hmm. um, that's because our teaching semesters, we only actually have two teaching semesters. So mm -hmm. 38 weeks would be long enough for you to have that contract. Um, so those accommodation options, um, let me just uh, check. So, yeah, between four thousand and six thousand five hundred pounds for the year. Um, mm -hmm. That would be on a thirty-eight week contract. If you need a slightly longer one, so that would be a postgraduate student, or if you're taking a pre-session or English course as well, or a foundation course, um, you might need a, a forty-two week or fifty-week contract. Those ones would be up to around eight thousand five hundred at maximum. Oh, but nice. you can have deeper options too. So it depends yeah. on which you select. Uh, you can select based on your budget. Um, we do have a YouTube channel 
for mm-hmm. um, you can do a virtual tour of all of the accommodation options so when you're making decisions it's very easy to go and have a look around and take a virtual tour um, mm-hmm. and also the website has all of the details of the contract lengths of the price and everything like that so you can do a good comparison excellent uh, what about the virtual open days for uh, offer holders do you organize that one or um, and also uh, about uh, students who is considering to study at Oxford Brookes University 2021. Do you open, uh, do you organize virtual open days? Yeah, so we've got a postgraduate open day coming up pretty soon, actually. So mm-hmm. we're not just doing it for one day, we're doing it for a whole week. Um, okay. So that's going to start on the 4th of June and run mm-hmm. until the 11th of June. Um, there'll be a full timetable of different um, webinars and different sessions that you can join. Um, okay. There'll be different subject-specific sessions And I'll also be running a session um, specifically for students from Turkey and from the whole region, um, Europe and Central Asia. Um, and so any questions and things that come up at that point, I'll be able to host that session as well. That will be on Thursday the 4th um, mm. as well, and I can send you further details of that. Um, yeah. But undergraduate, we're planning to have a virtual open day at the end of June, so we're just pending the confirmation of that date. Um, mm-hmm. You can also see on our website, um, if you have a look at different virtual events from the homepage, you mm-hmm. can see a lot of our different um, faculties are running specific webinars. So our business school have quite a lot of course specific webinars right. they're running at the moment and you can find out more information about those. And we're running um, a collaborative event for, mm-hmm. um, again, for Europe with um, 23 other universities that's going to take place between the 1st and 5th of June. Um, and we're going to be running lots of different sessions um, for different subjects, for the application process, and lots of other um, events as well. So we'll be advertising that quite soon, um, but that's also something else you can get involved in. Okay, very good. What about the students who's uh, coming to study in there? What type of social activities do they have, sport opportunities, part-time work opportunities? A little mm. bit, uh, could you give us a little bit information about this? Sure. Yeah. So um, first of all, for sports. So mm-hmm. um, we have loads of societies that you can join. And some of those are sports societies. Some of them are um, different types. So Formula One or um, creative societies or Turkish societies. Um, so there's all sorts of things that you can join. Those ones are run by students for students. So they tend to be quite yeah. social, but they'll also organize um, some other careers activities sometimes as well. Um, in terms of other sports teams, we compete in um, with around 33 different teams um, mm-hmm. in something called Bucks, and that's the um, national competition. So we compete against lots of other universities um, in different sports teams like football, rugby, um, cycling, all sorts of things. Um, rowing is one that we're particularly strong at. So we have an Olympic stream um, where our students can train um, and actually fast track towards becoming part of Team GB olympics mm. um so we have some pretty pretty good um reputation when it comes to sports um but then also in terms of work um there's a lot that you can do actually while you're a student so the government allows you to work for up to 20 hours yes. per week part-time if you're on a tier four mm. visa um and 20 hours is actually quite a lot of time that you can manage to get some work experience and gain some um some additional money while you're um while you're studying Um, you're not restricted to where you can work. So you can work on the campus. So we've got cafes and um, restaurants. You can work as a student ambassador. Um, there's lots of different opportunities for you to get involved. Or you can find work for yourself in the city centre um, and in lots of different shops. So we've got lots of different shopping areas, um, restaurants, cafes. So places where you can find part-time work opportunities. Um, our career service, we have a career centre. And they mm-hmm. help you not just with finding graduate jobs, but also part-time jobs. They can help out with that. Um, they can show you where to look. They can check your CV. They can help you um, check through your application um, and practice interview skills and all sorts of things like that. So um, they're available for you during the whole time that you're studying and also for up to three years after you graduate. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Uh, what about... Uh enter requirements did you do any flexibility do you have any flexibility because of COVID-19 many universities start to accept uh, for their English requirements uh, IELTS indicator or TOEFL home based what about Oxford Brookes University yeah so we are um, 
obviously we recognize it's a difficult time for everyone at the moment and yeah. lots of you can't take um all of the qualifications that you would normally take when it comes to english particularly um so we definitely are being flexible on that we are accepting ielts indicator mm -hmm. um we'll also accept a toefl so that can be the home edition or the regular mm -hmm. edition um we can accept pearson um we we also accept passwords so Passwords. there's quite a few different um options so we don't have our own password test but we can accept if it's been taken somewhere else um, mm -hmm. and then obviously the normal routes so IELTS and things like that yeah. um, we've got a website um, where you can check all of the qualifications that we'll accept um, specifically for different countries and for different tests so um, we are being as flexible as we can the same goes for our entry criteria for academic grades we're aware that not everybody will have had the chance to complete schooling in the way that they would normally do this mm. year and they might grades that are based on predicted grades or based on previous um you know first two years of study or something like that so um we are making sure that we're going to have a flexible policy when it comes to being able to accept grades and so we'll be looking at how we can be as flexible as possible with grades that maybe don't quite meet what we would usually ask for excellent so the still student has got a lot of chance to study at the Oxford Brookes University. Okay, yeah. my, uh, uh, it was very lovely. And my final question is about the offer holders. Do they, should they worry about starting September uh, 2020? Uh, do you have A plan, B plan as the Oxford Brookes University? I know it is too early, mostly a government decision, but what about the Oxford Brookes University? Yeah, so at the moment, what we would love to do is to be able to have students come and join us in September um, yep. in the UK on campus. Um, we're planning ahead um, for September, so we'd like September to go ahead um, this year. Um, obviously, we're aware that um, there may have to be some restrictions, and we are waiting for further advice from the government on that, um, about whether we can have all students on the campus or whether we need to consider some online options Um, we haven't made a final decision on that yet, um, mm -hmm. so we'll communicate that to offer holders as soon as we know. Um, in the meantime, obviously, um, just to reassure students, if you've paid a deposit already and you've mm -hmm. made a decision, then um, if you do decide at a later stage that you mm -hmm. don't want to start in September, um, it's okay to defer that to, say, January or for the following September. Um, so we can happily do that. Um, or if your situation changes, we will be able to refund um, any money if, if that's appropriate. So we are making sure it's as flexible as possible for students. We understand um, if we do have to start online, not everybody will want to take that option. They might prefer to wait. So we're offering yeah. lots of flexibility, um, but nothing's set in stone at the moment. We hope that yeah. we can have some students with us. I hope so. Me too. I, I mean... Uh, as a counselor, uh, speaking with the several families and the uh, students, they've been waiting to uh, start their study at September. They don't want to wait. They don't want to postpone or they don't want, of course, online. They want proper physical education. Okay, Lucy, thank you very much. It has been 30 minutes, exactly. And uh, we, we gave, you gave us wonderful information, a lot of good information. Thank you very much for your attendance to our uh, program. And uh, may I take your final words to our uh, followers and say goodbye. Yes. After. Yeah, just, just to say thank you for, um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Um, we understand it's quite a difficult, uncertain time at the moment, but we just want to reassure you that um, Oxford Brooks is still open for business. We'd still love you to come and study with us. Um, might look a bit different from normal at the moment, but we, um, yeah, we want you to have the best experience possible and hopefully study with us in Oxford. So um, yeah, hope to see you soon. Okay, thank you very much, Lucy. Uh, again for attendance our uh, program and uh, say you uh, have a nice day stay safe and stay healthy and see you soon uh, hopefully uh, and when everything back to normal thank you very much again bye thank bye thank you good assurance good bye bye